What's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel, Electrical Installation Triple E, where today we're going to have a troubleshoot. Um, they uh, got to complain about some low voltage or some light is blinking, something like that. So I'm just going to check it out right now. So let's go. So right here we have this light right here looking quite fine to me um, they complaining about this light okay so you can see guys how much it's blinking that doesn't look good so I'm gonna go over to the breaker panel So we have two different 15 amps right here. So I'm assuming that this um, these 15 should be on. Um, so it should be two light circuits. So I'm gonna test them. Okay, so that one is off, meaning that um, this side is not on the same as this one it's off right there okay back on so the first thing we're gonna do we're gonna test this bulb since that one on that side is not blinking this one is not blinking so we know it's two different circuits so what we're gonna do first thing first we're gonna check the bulb make sure the bulb is okay so we're gonna try the bulb in another socket so guys since i'm not getting nothing from the bulb and so forth to try the bulbs and there is nothing what i'm gonna do i'm gonna check what is coming in from the main supply to the breaker yes guys so this is my test i have to go for it i want to know um the amount of voltage coming in on each side of um each side from the main supply so i'm gonna use my tester to test it right now so this guy um, i'm gonna put this one on the ground side right here or the neutral bar and this i'm gonna check the phase with all right i'm getting actually 100 volt right there as you can see i'm actually getting 100 right there flat and this one i'm getting about 118 so that is good so this is the one that was given now this is the one in the hall so this one i'm getting 100 this one i'm getting 118 between 118 so basically the voltage from the main supply is not the real fault of the um the light bulb to be dimming so i'm gonna have to check that right there to see if it's from the switch the main switch that's um controller guys i'm gonna check the switch right here this is the one that control the bathroom light which is giving uh, a lot of problems so i'm gonna check it I saw this controller. Mm -hmm.
that you be no feel light of command so why is the light not coming on Still have this problem guy right here. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna change this. I'm gonna change this one right here. Switch off the switch. Yes. I'm gonna try this sucky time, guys. So we still have the same problem. Okay. Oh guys, listen guys. So that is obvious it is a switch. Should I say it again? Alright, so what I'm gonna do guys, I'm gonna bridge this right here. So guys, you see the problem right there, the troubleshooting problem right there? It's actually the switch. The switch is the problem hey, right there. No, the switch is off before. So guys, since uh, the switch is a problem, we're going to replace it with another one. One click like pregnant, yeah, that's a waypoint and split. <laughs> yeah, ready. Ready now. See, guys, right there, one click, it's on. So, sometimes, guys, when you have troubleshoot, it just depending on the kind of problem that you have, um, you know, where to start, your starting point. Um, a lot of the time people check from the main source coming into the building sometimes you can check from where they think the problem maybe start to occur or so forth so it's just depending on real, uh, the type of problem that you have uh, your starting point so that is another problem of or uh, one problem in troubleshooting um, so it's the switch was the main problem for me so guys in troubleshooting troubleshooting can occur in many ways in electrical work uh, so as a electrician when you go depending on the circumstance or whatever you can know where to begin your starting point where you can check from the main source coming in from the meter or you can check from the breaker panel as well as you can check from the circuits so it just depending on this uh, the circumstances so um, for your upcoming lessons I'm gonna do a video on how to use my, um, these testers so I'm gonna do a video on that so hopefully you guys learn something from this and um, know what to do with troubleshooting. I'm gonna do more videos on troubleshooting because I said before there are many ways of troubleshooting so that is just one of them.